I happen to believe that big money interests have an undue influence over the economic and political life of our country. That uh, too often uh, campaign contributions are what determines policy rather than the needs of ordinary Americans. And according to the Washington Post, since 2014, the Center for American Progress has received roughly five and a half million dollars from Walmart, uh, a company that pays its workers starvation wages, $900,000 from the Bank of America, $550,000 from J.P. Morgan Chase, $550,000 from Amazon, $200,000 from Wells Fargo, $800,000 from Facebook, and up to $1.4 million from Google. In other words, uh, CAP has received money for some of the most powerful special interests in our country. Uh, how will your relationship with those very powerful special interests uh, impact your decision making if you are uh, appointed to be the head of OMB? Senator, I thank you for that question. It will have zero impact uh, on my uh, on my decision making. I'm actually uh, Cap took a number of positions that disagreed vigorously uh, with the policy decisions of those institutions. But I appreciate this question, and uh, and it is my role. It will be my role to ensure that I am only serving the interests of the American people, the administration, and its agenda to address rising inequality and address the needs of working families. So we understand that we are a divided nation, and on this committee there are people who have very, very different political points of view. But I think most of us understand that it's important we debate the issues and try to minimize the level of personal and vicious attacks that seem to be so prevalent all over this country today. Uh, I have a letter in front of me from, as I'm sure you have seen, a number of Republican members of the House concerned about some of the things you said as uh, the head of CAP, but of course your attacks were not just made against Republicans, there were vicious attacks made against uh, progressives, uh, people who I have worked with, me personally. So as you um, come before this committee to assume a very important role in the United States government, uh, at a time when we need serious work on serious issues and not personal attacks on anybody, whether they're on the left or the right, can you reflect a little bit about some of your decisions and the personal statements that you have made in recent years? Yes, Senator, I really appreciate that question. And I recognize that my language and my uh, expressions on social media, you know, um, caused hurt to people, and I feel badly about that, and I really regret it, and I recognize this. It's really important for me to demonstrate that I can work with others, and I look forward to taking that burden, and I apologize to people on either the left or right who are hurt by what I've said. Okay. And as you know, it's not a question of being hurt. We're all big boys, and I don't see too many girls here, but big boys uh, who get attacked all the time. But it's important that we make the attacks expressing our differences on policy and that we don't need to make personal attacks no matter what view somebody may hold. So can we assume that as the director of the OMB, we're going to see a different approach if you are uh, appointed than you have uh, taken at the uh, cap? Absolutely. And I would say, you know, social media does um, lead to too many personal comments and my approach will be radically different.